What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. All right, update from here in Poland. I know it's been a while since my last video. We went to Siberia. We traveled all the way to Novosibirsk, Russia, my former club back in 2016, 2017. This was for the CEV Champions League. This was round two and we came away with the victory 3-1 in Novosibirsk. A huge three points for us in our Champions League pool. So that was a great win. And we had another match last night in the Polish Plus Liga against Lubin and we were able to win 3-1. This was a pretty tough match. They played super well and we weren't exactly on our best game, but it's okay. We came away with the win. Three points and we just finished the first round of the Polish Plus Liga in first place. So let's go. Okay guys, we're gonna be switching it up just a little bit today. I put out one of those question things on Instagram asking you to ask me about my experience here so far in Poland. We've hit just about halfway of the season, almost. So I'm gonna be answering your questions about my life here in Poland. I have a bunch of questions, so let's get started. All right, first question. How is the language barrier between you and your teammates? Oof, you guys, I am so lucky. There is relatively no language barrier. It's a little bit different than Russia where there was more of a language barrier to be honest. But here in Poland, there is more English. So my teammates speak English, my coaches speak English. We communicate mostly in English, which I am very, very thankful for. Okay, next question. How big a role did David Smith play in your blending into the team? So yes, David Smith, my Team USA teammate who I've played with for about nine or 10 years now, is also playing on the team here in Zaksa in Poland. And he has been here for three years. This is his third season. So he has played a really big role. I'm so lucky to have him and his wife and his family here. They have helped me out so much. And I know that he helped me, you know, meet the team in VNL last summer. He helped me meet the team here, you know, hang out with the team, integrate me at lunches, at dinners, all that stuff. So David has played a really big part and I'm so, so thankful that he is here. Okay, so I got a lot of questions comparing Poland to Russia because I played in Russia the last three seasons. So people are asking, how can you compare the level of league in Poland and Russia? So yeah, two very strong leagues. I believe that they are two of the top three leagues in the world, including Italy. And this is a tough question. I think both of them are so strong. They're so different. I think in Russia, you're gonna see so much power, strong serving, strong spiking, a lot of blocking. And in Poland, I think it's a little bit more tactical volleyball. You're gonna see a lot more short serves, tactical serving, a lot more tips, rolls, play off the block. It's completely different style. So it's interesting to always play against a Russian team like we did last week against Novosibirsk. They were just serving and spiking and blocking super hard. And we had to figure out ways to get around that and chip around the block or hit high balls and play off the block, recycle. So the level Levels are different. I think in general, Russia has been a stronger league. You can see that because Kazan, Novosibirsk, Moscow, they win these bigger tournaments, maybe. But I think Poland is coming up stronger now and they're about equal. So that's a really tough question. Okay, I got this question a lot. I think because I talk about food a lot on social media. Do you like Polish food? Yeah, I like Polish food, but I'm not even sure what Polish food really is. I know there's like a lot of soups, a lot of pierogies, which that's my favorite. I love pierogies. Anything like a dumpling, I will eat and I will love. I've had like pancakes with meat, but overall I like the food, but I don't think I eat Polish food that often, but when I do, I definitely enjoy it. Okay, next question. How big of an issue has COVID been in Poland? I think like everywhere else in the world right now, COVID is increasing because of the new variant and it's getting a little bit crazy out there. So we are taking more precautions. We're wearing masks more often. We're really aware when we're traveling. I think there's a restriction with the amount of fans in the arenas and they are wearing masks, which wasn't a thing a couple of weeks ago. I know that when we traveled to Nova Sibirsk last weekend, we were all wearing masks because we knew in the place and in the airports, things can get a little bit crazy. I believe in the Polish league that most of the players are vaccinated. I might get in trouble for saying this. And if you're not vaccinated, you have to test before the matches. So I think that's the protocol. And if COVID does hit the team, if you have eight players able to play the match, you have to play the match. So we've seen some teams that have only had eight or nine players and that really sucks. But I guess that's the protocol. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully it doesn't affect the league 
too much, but as we all know, it it is increasing here in Poland, just like around the world. Okay, this is a good question. What is the biggest advantage of living in Poland versus Russia and vice versa? Ooh. Okay, this is gonna sound like very spoiled USA American, but when I was living in Russia, it was very difficult to ship things to Russia. You know, I had some sponsors trying to send me things and they never got to Russia. They actually got rejected and sent back. And I wasn't able to order like Amazon, which I'm sounding like a terrible human even saying that. But here in Poland and back in the EU, it's just a lot easier to order things and like get what I need and get what I want and order things for my sponsor. And just little things like that make it a lot easier to live. Not a lot easier, just a little easier because I can have all the comforts that I like to have in my home, in my apartment, in my life that are just a lot easier to get here. That, that's a terrible answer. Okay, next question. What are the main differences between the Polish players and the US players? Oh, uh, I mean, volleyball wise, not much. I mean, both are very talented. I think a lot of people are asking me you know, on social media if we can get more of the Polish players, but they're definitely a little bit more reserved and shy and don't want to be in front of the camera. The USA guys, I think maybe social media is just a little bit bigger. They're just used to being in front of the camera. They embrace it. They love it. Maybe they don't love it, but they, they just do it for me. And the Polish guys, I'm trying to slowly break them down to be on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and all of that stuff. But I think the Polish guys are just a little bit more reserved, trying to break them out of their shell. But the USA guys, there's no stopping them. Next question. What is your favorite thing about living in Poland? Ooh, I really like living here, you guys. It's, it's super easy. The people are great. The volleyball atmosphere and the volleyball is insane, obviously. But I think one of my favorite things is that volleyball is a big sport here. You guys, every single match is on TV. And I think that's unique from almost any league around the world. Every single game is prioritized for TV on a main channel, on a main sports channel, and you can watch it just by turning on your TV and going to pulse that sport. That's insane. I wish we had that kind of coverage in the US, but seeing how big volleyball here is and how it's growing, that's the favorite thing about Poland. Okay, what's my favorite? Polish word. I can't say it out loud, but I know all the bad ones. I'll just say that one. All right. How does it feel seeing and competing against your USA teammates during a match? So yes, one thing that a lot of people don't understand about professional volleyball is that when we play for the national team in the summers, we're all together for Team USA, of course. And then when we play professionally, we all kind of disperse and play for different club teams around Europe. And there happens to be a bunch of Team USA members in Poland, maybe 10, I can't remember, but I'm seeing a lot of my Team USA teammates, a lot, playing against them and even visiting them in their cities. But it's so fun playing against them, you guys, when we're competing in leagues. It's kind of like a rivalry, a fun rivalry. It's like playing your best friend or your brother. You're gonna compete so hard to beat them and to beat them down and get bragging rights. And it's always great competition. So I think it's really fun. I don't think it's strange at all. And it brings out the best in us as competitors for sure. Okay, which Polish city do you like the most? Which one is the most beautiful? So I have been to Poland a lot, you guys, for USA Volleyball, coming here for VNL and World Championships and different matches. But this is actually the first time I've played in the Polish Plus Liga. So I have been to a a lot of cities. I haven't been to a bunch and not necessarily for touring either, but I love Krakow. I think it's a beautiful city. It's so fun to just walk around. I think one time with USA, we actually rented these like scooters and scooted around the city and saw it. And I think it's just a beautiful place. I've seen it, you know, in the day, at night, mostly in the summer, but I heard that it's beautiful during this time in Christmas. So I think that's my favorite city so far. Okay, what's my favorite memory so far from my time in Zaksa? Oof. It's a good question. I think our win against Yastrembia, Yastrembia, Yastrzebski Vigel, again with the names, is the best win we've had so far and one of my best memories. I think it was just a great team win. We had lost against them in the Super Cup 3-0 and then we came back a couple of weeks later and beat them 3-0. And it was just like, I don't know how to describe it. A great team win. We prepared so hard and it was just nice to kind of reverse that loss and get them back in the Polish Plus Liga. So that was, I think, the best memory so far. Okay, how is it like working with other superstar volleyball players that you usually face off against. So what he's referencing is that I now, on this Zaksa team here in Poland, play with Polish national team members, Polish Olympians, Polish players that are playing in VNL and world championships and all of that great stuff. So I have played against these guys before in competitions, before I actually played with them here in Poland. And I must say, it is so fun. I love playing against people that I play against in the summers with Team USA. These guys are so talented and I've been able to learn so much and train so hard. And I think I've seen some improvement in my game just by playing against them day in and day out. And I think it's also fun that you only see them as 
as competitors, but now I see them as friends and brothers and teammates and people that I know and love and respect. And I think that's so great. And it's been so fun to play with them. And I know that it's gonna be fun competing against them in the future. Favorite game so far in a Zoxa t-shirt. I think I talked about it. The Yastrzemski game was really fun just to come back and beat them 3-0. But I also think when we won against Rosovia 3-1, that was another team win. It was, it's like a heated rivalry. They have a great team and we won 3-1. And it was just a great team win, team atmosphere and a great crowd. So that was also another great win. How is the Polish league different from any other league you have played in? So that's a good question because I've played in Germany, Austria, Italy, Russia, and now Poland. I think Poland is one of the strongest leagues. Every team top to bottom is dangerous and you have to really prepare well, train super hard, be fit mentally and physically heading into every single game or else you're gonna be in for a battle. And I'm not sure every single league is as strong as this one top to bottom. That's gonna be a controversial statement, but I think this league is just strong. There's so many crafts great players and you can see why Poland is so strong on the national team level as well. Okay, what's my favorite place I've visited so far? So I haven't had a ton of time to visit places. We've traveled for matches. I think Gdansk was a cool place to visit because it was on the Baltic Sea in the north. I actually filmed a TikTok about that, about going to the beach in the north of Poland, which was kind of cold, but it was definitely cool. And I've also visited Katowice a couple of times. I've played there for volleyball a bunch of times, but to be able to visit and tour around and eat and like have fun. I think that's been really cool. So maybe Katowice and Gdansk, but I haven't had that much time you guys. Okay, what is the weather like and how do you have to adjust? So yeah, it's it's winter in Poland. It's cold. Actually, it's not that cold right now. There's no snow on the ground. It was snowing a ton like last week, two weeks ago, and I was like, no, not again. But I lived in Russia, on the north of Russia, in Siberia. This is pretty mild compared to that. So you just prepare and you wear good clothes and warm clothes and good shoes and everything's fine. Okay, how did you feel when your team withdrew from the World Club Championships? Yeah, so a couple of weeks ago, you guys, there was the FIVB Club World Championships featuring teams from all over the world. It's considered one of the best tournaments in the world and the winner is the world champion, FIVB Club World Champion. We were invited to go. We were supposed to go. We wanted to go. But the logistics of it all, you guys were absolutely insane. First of all, COVID, it's just tough to travel there and back and you're exposed a lot. That's just part of it. The second was that the travel for us was gonna be absolutely insane. So this was gonna be the route to get there. We were gonna drive from Poland to Vienna and then we were gonna fly from Vienna to Paris, Paris to Sao Paulo, Paulo, Sao Paulo to Brasilia and then drive, something like that. It was, I think 24, 28 hours, which is long, not crazy, but definitely long. But the problem was that coming back, it was gonna be the same travel, but then we were supposed to travel to Siberia to play Nova Sibirsk for the next game. So you you can imagine going from Brazil to Siberia to play a very, very important match. And we just didn't want to take that risk. It was complicated and long and tiring. So we decided not to go and instead focus on the Polish Blues Liga and also Champions League. So you win some, you lose some. Are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? And what are the advantages, disadvantages? What makes it hard being in a foreign country? So actually I just talked about this with David. I think I'm an extroverted introvert. I think that's what we decided on because when I first meet people and I'm in like a room and have to meet people and talk, I'm pretty shy. I'm actually very shy and I feel awkward and uncomfortable. But once you get to know me, I don't shut up. Like I'm very extroverted and want to talk and have fun and dance and I don't know. After that initial period of feeling like awkward and just like uncomfortable, I don't shut up. I mean, I've been talking for like 20 minutes here. So I think I'm an in introverted extrovert. Or what did I say? Extroverted introvert. Whatever it is. Shy and then I can't shut up. But I think it's not hard moving to a different team because of that. I think I've experienced that. This is my 10th year overseas. I'm obviously not going to come into a new team like, hey guys, and be all crazy. I'm going to, you know, come in a little bit more quiet. And then once I get to know these guys, start to show my personality just a little bit more. What's the biggest thing? that made me stop and go, wow, I'm in Poland. And I talked about this before. It's that volleyball is on TV constantly between the women's league and the men's league. It's like every single day of the week, there's volleyball on TV, which I love. I'm clearly volleyball obsessed. So I think that's great that it's on TV. So much, ex so much exposure and kids and young players get to see professionals play every single day. 
<laughs> this is a funny one. Are there any Asians there in Poland and Russia? So there's actually a lot more Asians in Russia than there are in Poland. I don't know if I've seen almost any here in Poland and in Russia it's like pretty normal to see Asians. So that's been really interesting that I'm one of the only ones I've seen. Have I seen myself? I'm, I, th I think I'm probably one of the only Asians in this city. All right, last question. Are there many foreign players in Poland or is it just native players? So Poland has a rule for their league that three foreign players can be on the court at once. So there has to be technically four Polish starters and you can have three foreigners on the court at once. So here in Zaksa, we only have two, me and David Smith. And there are other teams that actually have more than three, maybe they have four or five, but they have to make sure that when they make subs or make a starting lineup, that there are four Polish players in the starting lineup. So it can get a little complicated. You have to have a lot of strategy and all of that, but three foreigners on the court here in Poland maximum. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered your questions. I hope you learned a little bit about my life and experience here in Poland. So far, we're about halfway through the year, so I'll probably be doing another one towards the end of the season. But if you guys enjoy these question and answers, let me know in the comments below and we can figure out some different topics and things to talk about and I can answer more of your questions. But as usual, get out, play some volleyball, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.